Okay, we're here today at Edith Street Studios in St. Peter's, uh, Sydney. I'm talking to uh, Mark Wotherspoon about his Sculpture by the Sea entry this year, uh, which is of a small boy. And so we're looking at the Marquette of this small boy, um, looking up into the sky, I imagine. Now, Mark, this, this, we're looking at the wax model, right? Yeah, right. The, the final glass sculpture will be how high? Uh, the, the glass itself will be about two and a half metres and, uh, and it'll be standing on top of a, a, a television that I've sculpted from basically steel and using a, a television screen uh, mounted in that steel box. So the whole sculpture in total will be, will be about three metres tall. Okay. Um, that's very tall. It's fairly tall. It's yeah. been a, it's been that, a that's imposing. Project. That's imposing. Um, yeah, I guess it's, it's not really meant to be imposing. It's just, uh, I, I guess I wanted to work with a scale item and... Um, I'm not trying to make a, a monolith as such, just, uh, just um, I guess, scaling glass up is always a difficult thing, so um, I, I wanted to sort of challenge myself and challenge the material a little bit. Now when you do a, a life-size life scale sculpture, there's a real strong identification with, with ourselves as our bodies, we were the same size. Mm -hmm. With a larger, uh, la a larger figure, Yep. What do you th what do you think? How do you think the the people are going to respond? I um, I guess that that's that's played on my mind. I um, I initially scaled it up because I didn't want it to be life size. I I, I like the idea in sculpture of, of having a necessary difference in scale. Um, Ron Muick, I think, was was probably what an artist that I really enjoyed for that reason. He's uh, his sort of large scale heads or very small scale bodies. Right, anything, yeah, yeah. Just that thing that removes it from yeah. direct self. Yeah. Um, you don't think there's a frozen person there or. Yeah, yeah. You know. and, and there's no. It has to have been sculpted. I mean, it could have been done by computers, of course, but uh, um, it, it's, it's that sort of necessary sculptural element that now, scale gives. Mark, the most amazing thing I've learned this morning, this is my first time here at the Edith Street studio, yeah. is that you're actually making these, this glass boy out of out of recycled television glass screens. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, show me, show me, show me your kiln and. Uh, all right, yeah. Um, there's a, there's this. a television tube over here. Yeah, here's. Um, this is just kind of an example of, of the uh, the thigh, uh, the okay. sort of thigh yeah. section of the boy, and yeah. he's wearing corduroy pants. So I've basically given oh, that okay. a, a kind of corduroy texture. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, over here we've got um, uh, the picture tube, and it's basi basically made up of two parts. There's uh, this back section is a, is a it's called lead crystal glass. That is all glass. Um, yeah, this is all glass. Yeah, yeah, right. Except for this, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, and now it's joined by a glue line around the middle, and the front is um, is a different kind of glass. Show me a um, kiln, and uh, at the front. Yeah. Uh, this is the uh, the enormous space that I work in. Yeah, here. yeah. Everything's very tight in the studio, but uh -huh. it's a, it's, a, it's a, essentially, I guess, a budget for all oh, of us. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've got a piece in here that's just come down. It actually, uh, you can see there that during the firing, the mould's cracked. Uh huh. Um, Ooh, so yeah, I, I yeah. pretty much have to redo that now. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is something that's happened an awful lot, uh, uh, not just with this crack, but um, uh, there's just been a, so many problems in here that it's made my my project turn from something that was fairly easily achievable, well, not mm, easily, but yeah, achievable, yeah. Uh, to something that's running a tight, tight timeline to get it done in time. Yeah, yeah. Um, so basically, uh, well, you're at the mercy of you're at the mercy of heat, glass, which you can't really control. We can control, mm. but there's still an element, an element of risk. Yeah, in, not not personal it. risk, but risk of things going wrong. Yeah, yes. with the glass. Yeah. yeah, and so this would, when it went into fire, it would have been stacked up, sort of right up yeah. high with um, uh, glass fragments from um, uh, from televisions that uh -huh. I break up and. Um, and the, and the figure would not be transparent, is that right? It's just going to be translucent? It would be translucent, yeah. yeah. So and, and what kind of colour do you think? It's, uh, it's actually kind of, it's quite patchworky. There's, um, each television has, so uh, you can come and have a look at some more pieces here. Now, um, Mark's standing in front of a group of helpers who are trying to help him clean the glass. Aha, uh -huh, here's, a, here's a freshly clean bit. <laughs> yeah, so once it comes out of the mould, it... Um, uh, we need to clean all the mould material off. Yeah. And basically, this one in particular is more opaque than most of them. But, it's um, a greenish sort of. This, yeah, it's an opaque green kind of colour, and this is the back back half of the television. Okay. Uh, the front half generally is this kind of grey colour down here. 
There's one over here that's kind of got a bit wow. of a, a green hue. Yeah, and, and the mauve, the mauve sort and, of... And a mauve one over there too. And so it'll, it'll be quite patchworky when it's all put together. So, it's this, all, um, so this figure of a boy standing at two and a half metres will have all these patchworky sort of colours, subtle colours. Yeah, basically. And I've, I've, I've used the, um, the television screens to sort of guide me on that right, more than anything. I, I, <laughs> it's, it's conceptually based in, in television and... and and the boy being outside and playing rather than watching television. Okay. So, um, I, I've kind of let the TVs guide me on that one. Okay, anyway. okay. And, well, uh, it, look, it, it, so it sounds bloody hard. <laughs> a lot of work, a lot of heartache, but I can't wait to see it. And I'll, we'll catch up with you when it's um, exhibited. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. All right, thanks, so, No worries, Mark. Yeah.